when it's about tech news you know we got you covered so we are back this week with this week's latest tech news so let's go ahead without any further ado and see what do we have starting off with google's major ai announcement it looks like ai has finally reached to a point in our lives where we cannot escape it after open ai became the inception of what can only be called the ai revolution many tech giants have made it their primary goal to get on the ai bandwagon and excel Google has now announced a suite of upcoming AI features for various workspace apps which includes Google Docs, Gmail, Sheets and Slides. The new features include a revamped way to generate, summarize and brainstorm text with AI in Google Docs. This is somewhat if not entirely similar to how people use OpenAI's ChatGPT. Users can also generate full emails in Gmail based on users' bullet points. AI imagery and the ability to generate audio and visual presentations in slides will also be present in the new Google AI services. Major layoffs in the tech industry. It looks like the layoffs wave is not coming to a close in the tech industry. Meta announced on Tuesday that it would slash its workforce by 10,000 people. This comes after the company formerly known as Facebook laid off 11,000 employees 4 months ago. Meta Platforms is the first big tech company to have two rounds of mass layoffs in a short span of time. On the other hand, Microsoft laid off its entire team dedicated to ensuring that artificial intelligence innovations are ethical and lead to responsible and sustainable outcomes. These firings are part of the recent spate layoffs that led to 10,000 employees losing their jobs across the company in various departments. Other companies like Atlassian, Waymo, Twitter, GitHub have also fired a sizable chunk of employees. Samsung's new A series launch. Samsung has launched its Galaxy A34 5G and A54 5G smartphones in India a day after the global launch. The two smartphones expand the company's A series lineup. In terms of features, the handset offers 5G connectivity, octa-core chipsets, IP67 water and dust resistance, and more. The phones have a 120Hz Super AMOLED display, the A54 is powered by the latest Exynos 1380 SoC and the A34 has Diamond City 1080 SoC. Both the phones run on Android 13 with one UI 5.1 and the company guarantees up to 4 generations of OS upgrades and 5 years of security updates for the phones. There is voice focused knock security, privacy dashboard, private share and more. Make way for GPT-4 OpenAI has just released its latest AI model, GPT-4, which exhibits human-level performance on various professional and academic benchmarks. GPT-4 is a large multimodal model that can accept image and text inputs and generate text output. GPT-4's capabilities are an improvement over the previous model, GPT-3.5, in terms of reliability, creativity and handling of nuanced instructions. OpenAI tested the model on various benchmarks, included simulated exams designed for humans and found out that GPT-4 outperformed existing large language models. Redmi Note 10s and Poco F2 get Android 13. One can never be sure when it comes to Android updates on older devices even after a company has promised stable updates for said devices. However, if you're a Redmi Note 10s or Poco F2 user, then things are looking up for you. Xiaomi's Android-based MIUI 14 OS update is now rolling out on Redmi Note 10s and Poco F2 Pro for users across the globe and EEA regions, respectively. The update comes with new features and also brings latest firmware version along with new security patches. The MIUI 14 update gets the February 2023 security patch and latest firmware version, while the Redmi Note 10s smartphone was launched in May 2021 with Android 11 OS on board and Poco F2 Pro was released in 2020 with Android 10 OS installed in it. Apple bringing hearing health features to AirPods Apple is reportedly planning to bring new health features to AirPods product line, but not before 2025. The Cupertino-based tech giant is likely to add a hearing-based health feature to the AirPods including the ability to get hearing data of some sort according to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman. While Apple is yet to share any details about its plans to launch new health-centric features for the AirPods, previous reports have suggested that the firm is also working on new versions of its AirPod that will compete with less expensive wireless earbuds. Samsung in trouble over moon photos Samsung's Galaxy flagship smartphones have been offering 100x zoom and ability to capture shots of the moon for a while now. However, a Reddit user claimed that the moon shots taken with the Samsung Space Zoom feature were fake. They downloaded a high-resolution image of the moon, downsized it and add a Gaussian blur to remove all details. Samsung has now responded to these accusations by explaining how its moon photos work and why they aren't completely fake. 
They use super resolution technologies and AI technology to produce high quality moon images. The phone doesn't apply any image overlay to the photos, instead the AI based scene optimization technology recognizes the moon as the main objects and takes multiple shots for multi-frame composition. Foxconn's $200 million manufacturing facility in India Taiwan-based contract manufacturer of Foxconn, Apple's biggest supplier, has reportedly won a contract for AirPods. The deal will see Foxconn, the world's largest contract manufacturer of electronics, assemble AirPods for the first time ever since the introduction of Apple AirPods. According to the report, Foxconn plans to invest $200 million into manufacturing facility in India, citing a source familiar with the development. The plant, as per the report, will be dedicated to the AirPods manufacturing and assembly. So this was it about this week's tech news. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay updated with what's coming next.